dollars and I still ain't changed the route Voices in my head say, man, when you gon' chillin' And I know I'ma take the charge, like I ain't already made it far I was just getting ready to let it spark, like I ain't already came to stop Soon as we getting off the expressway, Mr. Curb, I'm thanking God If we have- I'm about to do a little walk through through Newton real quick I didn't have no father, no father. That just made me grind hard. How you gon' tell me that I can't? That I can't. How you got another tell me that I can't do it? He don't know my life, I've been through it. I got a daughter on the way, on the way. Everything else up to me. Yeah, these Nikes on my feet. So I'm blessed to wear my cleats on my cleats. Yeah, these Nike cleats kept me out the street. I turned 21, so I ain't die young. I lost my dad, homie, so I hear a sorry run. Man, we back where we started, man. You feel me? New high school. That's why I got my opportunity, man. For real. Carla Hall, one of the assistant principals here, and we are so excited for Tay. I mean, just the potential and everything that he has. You know, he has a community here, a family and friends that support him, and yes, we wish you guys speed. Yes, you know, we love you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to see you. Scott told me you were coming today. I said, make sure you bring him out to see me. That is so good. So, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I'm just... I'm just happy to be here, man. I just yeah. know the kid I was here, so I just, Dr. Baxter, I just thank you for the journey, really. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. Most importantly. And then, you know what? A lot of people didn't even know about your journey. Right. It's a lot of things I'm just learning about you that you Dr. were dealing Baxter, with yeah. in high school. I'm just now learning a lot of that stuff. Yeah. So, you know, you did a good job of hiding all of that. Yeah. I don't know if that was good. <laughs> Kept a smile on my face. Right, 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 right. You know, in spite of it all, so but that's inspirational, yeah, and it's going to speak to a lot of other kids and people. So, so let's go. So, how are your family and everybody doing? Yeah, they're excited. They do. Who yeah. I know she is. Everybody your mom. Yeah, everybody here. So. <laughs> I know it. Now, is your mom down in Florida with you? No, she's down here. Yeah, okay. Down here. Okay. Because at one point, did she move to Florida? Oh uh, no, she, she had just coming up here to see me play. Oh okay, okay. Okay, well that's cool. Oh man, that is so exciting. And you've been here all week? I just got here actually. Okay. Yesterday, okay. Right. Okay. Took a nine hours to get in Miami. You drove? Y'all yeah, drove? Woo! Yes, Jesus. That's a long ride. <laughs> that be right. You know, there he is right over there. So. Oh, I know right there. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'll see you. Yes, you gonna be here working out this week? Yes, ma'am. All righty. All righty. Be praying. Thank you. We got it. It's good. Yes, good to see you too, honey. Nice to meet you, young man. Nice to meet you too. All right, too. Yeah. I'm going to see Paulie. The man with the plan right there. <laughs> the man with the plan. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, The man with the plan, man. I don't know who you is, Coach, man. I'm saying the man, Coach Skell, man, been here forever. You know what I'm saying? Kicking with my big dog, Tate, man. You feel me? You know, from day one. Day one since day one, man, making a journey. So, you know, follow his journey. Just begin. Hey, man. Hey, I'm on the wall next, man. That Coach Scout, for people who don't know, man, the guy who believed in me when I came to the school. Um, yeah. When I came in, I told him to play receiver. He told me to play DB. Yeah. And ever since then, we've been... He worked six days a week, six o'clock in the morning, to nine at night, man. He just he pulled everything into me, man. I'm so thankful, Coach Scout, man. If y'all don't know Coach Scout, follow Coach Scout, man. One of the best DBs in the nation, in the world, and I'm just thankful for God putting him in my life. Yeah. Awesome. I'm good. My brother right here, man. Not a whole lot, man. You come to get some work? Yeah, I'm gonna be back at 30. Okay, okay. You gotta do a couple things for this little, for this draft thing. Get so, man, we're gonna do it. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited, man. As a junior, <laughs> with everything you know, everything that was going on, did you think you would be at this point? No, honestly. Okay. All right. What about? But I kept faith, though. What about when you decided to leave? Miami, Ohio. What did you? How did you? What, what were you thinking then? How it was gonna play out? 
I knew I was going to, I knew, I told myself when I left my Hardy, I was going to get all these offers, and that's what I was going to do, and I wanted to prove myself. So, so what did you learn? Um, most of all, I learned to trust God, and I learned to save myself, and, and just, and quit old habits. Yeah, grow. Yeah, grow. Yeah. Basically. Hey, that, you learned that right there, man. Shoot. Everything else. You got to have way figured out. Yes, sir. Every, every, any other thing you face at this point, you can always refer back to. I mean, shoot. When you was here, nobody, except for a small group of people, believed that any of this was possible for a guy like you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You believed it. And sometimes you didn't even believe it, but it was enough people that told you it could be. Yes, sir. Then, when you left here, you had enough mm -hmm. belief in yourself and enough trust in God to say, I'm going to leave this situation, which a lot of people would have said, man, that's stupid. Don't leave. Don't do that. Exactly. You said, no, nah, this ain't for me. I'm going somewhere. I don't know where I'm going, right. but I know this ain't for yeah, me. Yeah, this ain't for me. Yeah. That right there, man, it's, it's guys 60 years old that ain't figured that out, and they still spinning their wheels. You're going to be just fine, man. Yes, sir. You're going to be just fine. I'm so proud of you, Thank boy. Thank you, man. Boy. Hey, they believe in me, man. So. Boy, so proud of you, man. Yes, sir. And this is just the beginning. Yes, sir. Because you're going to have, and we talked about this last time you yes, were sir. home, what you're going to be able to teach somebody else, and who I don't know when that's going to be. It may be your own children. It may be some kids. You know, it may be, you may be coming back here talking to some of these kids. You know, it may be some kids wherever you end up playing. But you're going to be able to, relate to a kid that other people can't relate to. You know, other people who didn't deal with the same stuff you de dealt with, they're not going to be able to talk to that kid on that level. Right. You're going to be able to understand exactly what that kid is going through, and you're going to be able to speak a language that that kid can understand. And that's what these gifts are about. I mean, you're going to enjoy them, you're going to do great things, but the gifts really are about what you're going to be able to do for somebody else down the line, 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Yes, sir. And then you're changing your family, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I mean, you, you are breaking generational curses and changing the whole trajectory of your family. Think about when your kids, the opportunities your kids gonna have that you didn't even know existed. Man, it's, it's amazing what you're getting ready to do, man. Yes, sir. And all that, and the football part is the fun part. That's just the play play. Really, you know what I'm saying? You playing a game. Right. They about to pay you to play a game, man. Can you believe that? I'm telling you, man. You about to get I, I paid to go play it, a game. It still ain't really seen that yet, but that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, man. You get to change your family life by playing a game. Yes, sir. Only in America. Thank you, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> you she told you. Yeah. What are they on, fella? What's going on? What? Good. Yes, sir. Oh, you got the crew with you. Yeah, man, you know how to come see you. Yeah. Hold on, man. Y'all come on in, man. My dog, Cole Fortson, man. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You hey, about to be that time, ain't it, man? Hey, I'm trying to tell you. Got to be that time, baby. Right on, right on. Yeah, man, that, that Cole Fortson right there, man. One of the guys that believed in me, man. Thankful for him, man. DC right here, man. Oh, oh most definitely, man. Hey, hey, got plenty of stories. Playing the stories, man. I remember, as a matter of fact, we were telling the kid, uh, to, it was the East Coast really game. Yeah. East Coast really game, we got on to you. Uh, it, it was halftime, you know, so you got a personal foul. You got that personal foul. You remember you got yeah, that? that? Yeah, you got that personal foul. They were like, Tato, get, get another personal foul. Right. Get another personal foul. So you got that personal foul again, and they would say, hey, man, you done? We done for the, you done? He was done, right? And so the coach skill I'm like, hey man, can we get, can we get back in at halftime? I'm like, nope. nope. <laughs> I ain't played the rest of the game. Yeah. Hey, but the, the next week, you came out there, man, and you balled out. You know what I mean? You balled out that next week. So your mouth was set. You came out and did everything we asked you to do, man. You had this, that, again, that's what you was doing all year long, huh? you know. But, you know, you, you know, you get a little too aggressive. Right. You know? Got a little, like, I got a little emotional. Yeah, I got a little, little, little emotional on that, uh. Because you at first with the receiver. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, you came out, you bought that next game, man. See, I wish we could have went on further that day. But, but see, but that's the same thing you've been doing all this time. You know? So got you got you to where you at now. Yes, sir. And so we know you're gonna do the same thing when you get to where you're going. Because yes, we know you're gonna get there. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, so if nobody don't believe in you, see around here we do, man. 
It's 100%, you know? Because at the end of the day, looking for you to do nothing but be successful, man. You know what I mean? You deserve it. You know what I mean? If nobody deserves it, you deserve it, man. I appreciate it. You know, you deserve it, Jake. Because you put in the work, man. You know, if you didn't put in the work, It'd be a different story, but you put in the work every single day. So we remember we beg you to come out there. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like I, I tell the scale, I said I seen a video of you, man, working. I said, dang, that boy got big. Yeah. They got no little bit of legs though. <laughs> they got no little bit of legs. Hey, man, I'll get right legs up. got. I, I told him, I said, man, legs got a little bit, little yeah. bit bigger as well. But that's the thing, man. This, these what these kids around here need to see that you put in the work. Get to where you're trying to get to. They need, they need to see people. You know what I mean? They need to see, see a lot of those guys go out to that next level and see the effort that it takes to get there. You know, a lot of these guys don't understand the amount of work that you have to do to get to where you're trying to get to. A lot of them think it's going to be handed to them. They don't understand, man. You know? A lot of you guys don't know, man. I went from a D1 to a Juco back to a D1. So don't ever give up, man. Just Keep pursuing, man. Put that working, like you said, man. So that's all we do here, new. Definitely, man. It's good to see you, man. Um, I've been been following you on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I see you know, I, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I ain't a Twitter guy, man. It's got, got me on Twitter now. So uh, <laughs> I've been keeping up with some of the stuff that been going on. Your workouts and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Hey man, you look good. I ain't gonna lie. I appreciate it. Hey, I ain't, ain't gonna lie. I came a long way. I hey, boy, was hey. doing two or three I couldn't even flip. Well, hey, boy, I, I, I see no hip flipping, boy. I'm like, whoa, wait. Is you doing no pull up on that top? Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, man, I'm telling you, man, I see, I, I seen a lot. I tell you, you, you have improved a whole lot, man. A whole lot. I see you, I'm proud of you, man. I wish you nothing but success, man. And whatever we can do to help you. You know we're gonna do it. Whatever well, like we could do, baby. Love you, baby. Love you too, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. You're saying so much. Yeah, man. I know. I'm just so proud of you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Take our mask off. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Now nah, he's he doing a little bit of letting them know. Oh, you been hi, Miss Ammon. I'm yeah, a Spanish I was teacher. In her, I was in her he's Spanish in class. class. I just had, I brag on him all the time. Y'all yeah, one of her favorites. Yes. You did. Yeah. What I did with a 90? Probably. You did awesome in here. <laughs> you did. You did a good job. This is my lady right here, man. I'm just thankful for her allowing me to get better in life. And this is one of my favorite teachers, so I'm always going to see her and support her. So. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, I only wish you the best. Yes, Love you, honey. Thank you. Love you, too. <laughs> yeah, we came up to Philly, and, you know what I'm saying? I had the most in that practice, and he ain't want to tell nobody about that story. <laughs> nobody. It's the only time I really got most. I'm going to give it to him. He, he, he ain't got me. I was a young boy, though. Little, little shrimp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the school. Yo, y'all in Lennox? I talked to three coaches, bro.
say I'm gonna wait some money, man. Get love, man. Get love in the city, man. For real love. Man. <laughs> God will allow man. The shirt's gonna be available after the rookie season, man. I gotta show y'all why it's an island for real. Kiddo. Yeah, you could have brought the other shame. You could do like 2.30 just so I can make sure. I'm 
Hey, look, man. Right there, right there, going at this time, right there, superstar. You ain't even sneezing by Ray J in that moment. You know, whole coaches that offensive coach, offensive coach, they they'll start tripping. So like <laughs> Ray J why? He get the scrambling out the pocket. <laughs> he didn't throttle down and everything. He didn't <laughs> Yeah, but Tay came out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't but 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 Tay boy, he run, I'm like, man, he, he must think we lie. <laughs> he fooled me and take him. Yeah. <laughs> but he nah he ain't hit him. He, he, but Tay came to a neat song. Boom! Walk <laughs> Two, three steps. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Hey! Yeah, they already trying to jump. <laughs> hey, come. Come back, can't run out of nowhere. Yeah, everybody. Oh, hey, oh, hey! Get off my field! I'm in that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Listen, we playing Burton Hall. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, period. If, if, if you if you're playing new and with tape play, the play could be going on the other side. If you're Robert C, you're just running down field, he's not getting to the ball. He's coming to eliminate you, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he didn't take you off your I, I feet. Man, man, too serious. Robert C can come off the ball, he he looking at take come out of nowhere. <laughs> Every play, man, like, oh my god, man. Throwing flags on it, man. Then when we play a rock there, wide receiver. Right. 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 Nah. That's what we need. That's what we need. It's now he's going to one. Oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man. Oh, man. I don't want you to put the Artis on. I don't want you to put the Artis on. Hey, Artis know it. Hey, Artis, number 32 out there. <laughs> well, Artis said, uh, he had an army. So, Artis line up. We out there doing one-on-one. I think we talking a little bit. Everybody talking a little bit. Everybody talking. Artis, you know, Artis talking big. Take it out though, man. Take it out there. He tight to the line of scrimmage. Pajamas on. Hey, got oh man. He's cute. Well, first off, listen. Tay used to wear pajamas to practice, first off. Oh. These long he used, to piss, he used to piss me off, man. He used to wear these long blue pajamas in the and the ankle part, it just when he run, it just it just flies straight up. So the wind be in the in a pajama, like a bell bottom or something, bro. Like <laughs> Like MC Hummer. Also, baby, yeah, yeah, you ain't care about dress code. Man, Tay, man, it was like, but just to get Tay in the car, man, we had to get him in the car. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get him in the car. So, man, like, oh, like, man, oh my God, Tay got our teeth at the line, bro. Body was up here. It, it wasn't even no press drill. He literally just picked him up. You <laughs> eliminate him, bro. Bro was dead. He like, go again, good. Like, go again. I like, you good. Bro. No, bro, go again. You don't get another chance. I swear to God, go again, bro. <laughs> oh, dang. Artisa Monster, though, man. I ain't gonna put that up. Artisa Monster. Artisa Monster. Yeah, Monster. Yeah, shout out to everybody on the team, man. <laughs> man. Yo. Take it down, stuff. All right, so look. I'm this hot. All right, so I made it tight, right? So Tay had got, Tay had got kicked off of this people really don't know. Tay was a basketball team. Yeah. Yeah. Tay was a really good basketball player. But Tay had beef with basketball coach, basically. 
They ain't want you know you cut his hair. He want to go cut his hair, all that stuff. So <laughs> he was in the gym right here. So I'm trying to get him to come, come play football now. Uh, he don't know like Coach Taylor at the time had already had told me like about him. Now Taylor already had a reputation in the building. Uh, he wild, you know. Taylor's a wild boy. Now he went. He was just out of control and stuff like that. So everybody was really scared of Taylor. And, you know, they ain't want to know how to approach him and talk to him. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ask him, you know, this, that, and the third. So I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to start a short life, bro, okay? Come play. You know, come play football. All you got to do is see your workouts in the morning. So he come in the morning. <laughs> he come in the morning. So anybody who's been in Newton, for y'all who don't know, for anybody who's been in Newton, you know, right. I have certain days where, Man. If you just, yeah, if you lollygagging or something like that, then, you know, I'm going to punish everybody. So, unfortunately, I believe it was this rack right here. Unfortunately, he just came on. His first day was just one of them days. So, I told everybody to load the bar. So, 155, 185, 225. His bar was right here. And he didn't have no 155 on. So, he had him all the way on, right? And no lie, we did 500 squats. And I was just blowing a whistle. Every whistle is a rip. We did 500 squats. He did every last one of them. And so I watched him out the corner of my eye. And I seen him do every rip. So in my head, I'm like, oh man, we, you know, we got some, you know, he's he tough. But while he was doing them, you know, he was, <laughs> he was balls out crying. <laughs> I'm talking about real tears. And so, I mean, he wrapped it. He did all of them. Like, man, the team had to chill him on, but he was on his hands and knees. I'm talking, I ain't talking about like, the glory, Denzel Washington team. No, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about. One of those. I'm talking about one of those. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Bro was like crying hard. But he, but what I noticed, I'm like, okay, you know, he did every rep. There's a lot of people we had on the team at that time. They had three years. They didn't have the heart to do every rep. He did every single rep. Low. Regardless of the pain and stuff like that, he did every single rep. So I talked to him. I was all like, "Bro, what, what position you want to play?" He was like, "Wide receiver." I was like, "Nah, we're really playing corner. That's, that's where the money is." Because I knew that a guy like this with that type of heart, with his type of length, playing corner, he gonna have a shot. And I know he's gonna be a one-year football player. And so the difference, the difference with Tate and everybody else. To be honest with you, was he could take what I was willing to dish out, you know, because I'm gonna be hard, I'm gonna be consistent, I'm gonna meet him with consistency, I'm gonna be Sunday to Sunday, and if you and if you can meet back with that, then I knew that with his heart we had, we you know we had some potentially special. So from that day, we was up there Sunday to Sunday, you know, full time grinding like nonstop. No matter what he was, I was going to get him. And we was going to the field. And, you know, we talking about, you know, people looking at Tay now. I'm, the Tay, like, I remember back then, I'm talking about Tay didn't know how to backpedal. Like, we spent weeks on just learning how to backpedal. You know, and that was a process. But no matter what the frustration was, he never, you know, he never got down. He never quit. Kept going at it over and over and over. And we stayed out there for hours. Like, a Sunday session for us would be, be easy three hours doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over. And he mastered the back pedal. And then back pedal went to a weave. A weave went to how to turn your hips. And that was a, a several that was several weeks of you know of a process. And I remember that um we had the robbers camp. I don't know if you remember this type. We had the robbers camp coming up. And we didn't really have, you know, mind you, I'm putting out a lot of videos on tape and stuff like that. One thing about tape. He was extremely going to be confident. He had total trust in me. I had total trust in him. So, you know, we practiced every day. Went against receivers, Sunday to Sunday. And we took our land. We went to actually to the robbers camp, man. And anybody who remember that robbers camp probably thought that he was out. You know, he was a three-year football player. But really, he was probably like a four-week football player, especially at corner. And he went out there, man. He did really well. And so what I noticed, and it, it was a test for me because I really just wanted to see how much he was going to trust me at that time to do what I was asking him to do. And 
and how much how much uh, confidence he was gonna maintain. Man, he passed every test I gave him. And so I think after that, man, the, the, the like beyond the football stuff, like the late the late car rides, you know, the car rides. People don't know, like man, it was beyond football. Man, we had conversations about you know manhood, you know, um, responsibility. Um, you know, one day take care of a family. What you know, what a you know, what a good husband looks like. What a you know, what a good male looks like. All those things, and all those conversations, he took in and he took to the weight room. You know, he turned all his anger and everything that he did, all the anger that he had before, he harnessed and he put it into a direction. And, you know, and I saw some in him. I don't really know if he saw in himself at the time, but I told it. I totally, 100% trusted him. You know, anything I asked him to do, he was gonna do. Even when he did do wrong, he would take the punishment. No questions that I remember, man, I could get out, I, you know, brought Tay up here on a Sunday, he remembered this. I don't know, what what was the occasion? I can't remember, I think he had missed, him. He missed something, something happened, but I brought Tay up here on a Sunday, and I ran Tay for like four hours, no lie. The sun was up and it was going down, we were still out here. Like, he did everything, and you know, he, that's how, and I, but our bond was real strong. You know, I didn't do that to be a butthole. I did it because I cared. And how he received it, he received it like, okay, you know, he cared. You know, and I think I learned that Tay was, wasn't why, he just misunderstood. Everybody really misunderstood Tay. What Tay was really looking for was somebody to believe in him, you know, speak some positivity into his life, and, and be consistent with him. And I knew that my talent was, is really not what I knew, but I always had the ability to be consistent. If I could be consistent with Tate, and Tate can be consistent how you how you continue to change his perception about himself, then wonderful things can happen. His belief in God became even stronger. And one thing about Tate I give him a lot of credit for was he changed he changed his own expectation. You know, Tate may not have expected a lot of things out of himself before we really met, but he really expected more out of his life after that. You know, he expected more things. He expected to he expected to make it in college. He expected a D1 scholarship. You know, he expected one day to be a great father. You know, he expected to one day take care of his take care of his family. So that's you know to all the young kids like one thing about Tay beyond the ability. The first thing he did, he changed how he felt about himself. He changed his expectation in his life. And what happened? What happened with that? He went out there and he started grinding different. He thought different. He woke up with a better purpose, no matter what house he was at, no matter who he was with, no matter what his circumstances was, and no matter what he was doing, he expected more in the long term. And that affected how he, that affected the process he took every day. No matter A, no matter what it was, he was willing to work because he saw the long term, the long term success he knew he was gonna make. You know, and there's a lot of people, man, it's a thousand haters I never know, but it's a lot of people, you know, that, that never thought to tell you, I remember having a conversation with a person that never thought Tate would ever even make it out of high school. Another conversation would never think that Tate would make it out of college. You know, with several people. And I took it as motivation. And it, and it, and it fueled me to push him to push him harder. You know, I cared, I was gonna be there and I was willing to stay consistent the long term, you know, and hold him accountable as a man. That's all he wanted, he wanted to be held accountable as a man. And after that, good things happened. People don't know about spring practice. With all the hard work, by spring practice, Tay had multiple D1 offers before he ever touched a football field in New Jersey. Had multiple D1 offers. Multiple D1 offers. Double digits in offers before he ever touched a football field. Tay was, Tay, Tay was extremely hard working. He never got big headed. That really fueled him more. And he took his opportunity. And the lessons that he learned up to that point helped him get here. So, if anything, one thing we always used to say is not where you start, it's where you finish. It's how you finish, man. It's the process you take. And, you know, it's not about how you started. He started very much at the bottom, late blooming, but he walked all the way up, worked his butt off, and good things began to happen. But he was never result-oriented. He never talked about the result. We never we never spent long-term, long nights uh, talking about the results. And, you know, we always talked about the process what we had to do the next day to get better. And when you talk about them, you just focus on them things like you did, pop up, man, and now this man gonna be a draft pick. And again, and even now he knows, it's not where I'm gonna start at the draft, it's how I'm gonna finish. 
It's the mentality I take every day. I know I'm not I'm not gonna focus on the result. I'm gonna focus on all my daily grind. You know, he know the formula that works for him. Man, he got a great, great family. I believe him. You know, he got a purpose behind everything he do. He give back to the school, give back to the community. When a lot of people go away from that process, he runs towards you. Keep his family tight, he keep his circle tight. And when you do those things, good things happen. And that's the definition. And that's the legacy I think um, that I want you know, around here about Tay. I, I really don't want focus, people to focus mainly on, on, on his result. I want people to really, really understand the process and, how he, and what it took for him to get here. And if they do the same as far as the belief, similar things can happen to them too. So that's a partial story of Tay Gowan. He was not, he was not a guy that just was just born into it. No, nah, it was a lot of ups and downs. A lot of long nights. We got my mama job, man. Go to crowd, man. Got my baby girl with me. My queen. The way she worked, man. We, we trying to retire. We trying, we trying. I ain't want her to work here no more. Just taking day by day.
Situation, determining who were your kind of guys that you wanted on your board and hopefully could get them when your time came. Charles, good to hear your voice. So I'm really anxious to get down the road with uh, everything so you can go out and do it right. I think we did it right, but we're going to be creative to find out information. And, you know, even today, we're making phone calls to former defense coordinators or players that I knew that, that knew some of these players because. Uh, first of all, the, the volume is so great, and second of all, you can't, a Zoom call can only tell you so much. And, you know, I, I think the one thing that's really interesting about Jacksonville and Charles is that we have a very good core group of players. I mean, there, there's a group of players in this organization that I have strong feelings about after spending a couple months with them. So, we, we can't believe that. We have, to, we have to build on this. We can't you know, tear it up. Uh, build on the momentum. So we had to be free to find out that information. We weren't, we weren't able to do what you normally do on their own. Uh, meet, meet everybody. Yep. You list from one to ten. You go recruit the heck out of them and try to get the best. <laughs> came around, Cardinals believed in me. Now we in Arizona with it. Now I'm about to show them why they shouldn't have slept on me, man. We out. And now I'm rich, these niggas sick. I'm making everyone mad. When I was broke, I'm like, what was everyone at? I'm fucking up. When I was out there on that corner trying to sell it, oh. Timberlands freezing in that fucking snow, I wanna know. Real trap, grinding all night.